What's up, y'all? Um, I have got... What what have I got? Oh, God, I can't even remember. I have got here um, another another round two replay for you. This is round two from the uh, noob tournament. And um, up on the top of this map, we have Rail the Terran. And down in the bottom of this map, we have the Blue Zerg Radio Waves. Uh, let's get the production tab up in the top left. Let's get the NEMS across the top. Yes. Uh, let's hide that. Um, and let's see what sort of build uh, these two players are going to crack out. Uh, this isn't a fun day Monday. This is the t a tournament. Oh, 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 it's the queued up double depot. No one, no one was expecting that. I certainly wasn't. Uh, that's going to be a shock to everybody. Um, this map, this map proving popular with the uh, newbie tournament. It's a 3v3 map. It's an old map. Um, but for reasons uh, totally unknown, uh, people seem to keep choosing it for the 1v1s. <laughs> Don't build it there, man. <laughs> Don't build it there. No, your workers are going to have to go around that to get into the gas. Um, okay. Evolution Chamber coming down first for the Zerg. Uh, that can only mean... Oh, oh God, no. Um, I don't know what that can mean. <laughs> Nobody knows what that can mean. Um, what can that mean? That he wants to get Drop Lords up as soon as possible, potentially. Uh, these workers are going to be slightly delayed because... Um, is it going to make any difference? I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to tell if that's actually slowing them down or not. It looks like it's slowing them down, so I don't like it. Uh, spawning pool is going to be doing exactly the same thing. I've no idea what this Evo chamber is for. No idea whatsoever. We're not building a drop lord. We're not researching any... Oh, we don't have the gas yet anyway, do we? Uh, a very unusual opening from the Zerg player. Over here in the Terran base, it's a pretty unusual opening as well. Is this a is this a wall? Is this going to be sealed? I... Mmm. Mmm. Is that... Oh, I don't know. Look, those two, that's definitely a wall. You can't get through there. I have a sneaking suspicion Lings could run through that gap. Uh, you know, as a general rule, if you're building a wall, always best to test it if you're unsure. Get your worker, just right-click over there. If the worker can... He can. If the worker can get through, then Lings can get through and your wall is pointless. Um, as a general rule, if you're playing Terran and you're playing against Zerg, it's always a good idea to wall off. Zerg, famous for the um, Zergling run-by uh, sort of style where, you know, you, you get your, your economy up and running and then you just lean on the Z button and you crank out uh, just a, a silly number of links, um, you know, like 16, 20 links or something like that. And you run them straight into your opponent's base, into the mineral line, and you just do a bunch of economic damage to your opponent. Uh, obviously, those links will be forfeit. Um, you would hope anyway. Your opponent will eventually see them off and clean them up. But uh, what you're hoping is while they're dealing with that, you're macroing like a boss. Your economy is accelerating where theirs is not. Right, let's talk about the builds. Um, we can see Metabolic Boost is coming down for the Zerg. We can see that there is an Expo coming down for the Zerg. If you are playing Zerg, really important to get another hatchery up nice and early. You know, the Zerg hatches don't cost as much as a Terran or Protoss Command Center or Nexus. Uh, they are 300 compared to 400, so you can afford to get it up sooner. But more importantly than that, you know, the hatchery is where all of your units come from. I like this, look, a second queen up. Um, you know, Zerg players typically will get an extra queen up just for spreading creep. Um, and, you know, at, at higher levels, several creep queens just out on the map spreading quick creep. Really important to do that uh, because your units move faster on creep. So if you're attacked, you have a significant advantage if there's creep joining your bases, if there's creep everywhere. So here come these lings. Uh, I believe that Rail has fixed the hole in the wall. Uh, doesn't want to be caught with his trousers down, though. Um, I don't know about the positioning of this, uh, you know, because this tech lab is vulnerable, and that is well out of the range of this bunker. So, you know, why not have the bunker here? I'm not sure, really. Uh, anyway, it doesn't look like the links are coming in. Uh, what these links would be great for is just denying this expand. Um, you know, Rail doesn't have a great deal of units. If the links were up in his face, uh, he'd be in trouble. More links on the way, by the looks of it. 28 links uh, coming across the map. Um, so, uh, Radio Waves, what are you waiting for? Get them up in your opponent's face. Um, that is definitely what you need to do. Look at this army supply advantage. It's huge. Uh, that bunker could be absolutely critical. Where are they going to go? They're going to go where there's nothing to begin with. Um, so, you know, that's good. That's good for uh, Rail. Uh, he's going to have to... Who is Rail? 
I don't know. Anyway, I'll assume it's a he. He is going to have to uh, spot that this is coming. The CC is forfeit. You're not going to get that finished in time to lift it up. So you're going to have to cancel it. Please cancel it. Um, yep. And the depot is up. I don't know what this guy's doing over here. Uh, but this should be an easy hold. Yeah, that, that wasn't a, that was not really the sensible position for that. Um, yeah, I don't mind coming out with these. Uh, of course, he is probably aware that there are more lings than that because they did all com attack the command center. But, you know, that's a reasonable force of marines and he can come out a little bit and always run back to the safety, uh, the, the sort of cover of this bunker. So I don't mind him coming out a little bit. What he doesn't want to do is come all the way out here and risk getting surrounded. Uh, that's enough lings to, to take out all of them. Uh, so what's going on here? Nobody knows. Why would you queue all of these? Look, these three, that equals a barracks. Um, so build another barracks. Uh, and, and in the meantime, get some more depots done. Uh, this CC really needs to be an orbital command. Look, there's things queued up everywhere. Oh, no. Not with the big queues. Don't do it, please. Don't do it. Don't queue stuff up like that. It's bad. Um, okay. I think that's going to be a lot of dead marine. Um, I don't, why, why run? Why didn't you just push that? You could have... You could have cleaned up those marines, you had more lings coming, and if you kill all those marines, then, you know, you've got lings, he's got no marines. Um, yeah, I think you would have lost the lings almost to the last one, but but you would have killed all those marines. Um, so not sure about that decision. Anyway, going to come in, have a poke. Uh, I can't help but feel that if there was a ling here nibbling, it could nibble that and not be shot. Um, and I would do that. I would just nibble it to annoy my opponent. Uh, still no supply. Oh, there we go. One supply depot in production. Three more depots. Please tell me they're not queued up. Oh, no. They're queued from the same worker. Why do it? Um, you know, th that's just 300 minerals that you you can't spend. Uh, you know, get three workers building depots simultaneously uh, if you need three depots. Don't, don't queue three depots from the same worker. Anyway, um... From the tech lab, stim pack is absolutely the necessary upgrade if you're building links. This, uh, I quite like this. The sensor tower will tell our uh, Terran player that there is stuff here. So he can see, and you can tell by how fast they're moving, that these have to be speedlings. Um, he can see that there's a large force of speedlings parked just outside. Uh, and that's all to the benefit. Um, a siege tank would be great. If he can just park a siege tank here, then these lings become utterly useless. Then he can start to push out, creep forward with the siege tank, creep forward with the marines, and just clear this out. Um, you know, end up with your siege tank here, maybe a bunker somewhere here, a group of marines, and these lings are, are just a waste of time then. Uh, some roaches coming to join in the fray, and a group of overlords. Uh, let's see what else is going on in the Zerg base. So, Researching melee, no, I'm not sure about that. If you're going to switch to roaches, well then, probably, and if you're going to have a mix of lings and roaches, then the carapace is probably what you want to do. Uh, carapace level 1 is already researched by the looks of things. If we look at the upgrades, um, the marines have got combat shield and uh, plus 1 armor. The lings have got melee attack um, and armor. Uh, so, yeah, I think... I think I'd be more inclined, more inclined to be researching either uh, plus two carapace, uh, which is great against marines, or um, missile attack these roaches. Go, 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 get him, get him, get him. You've got loads of stuff, way more than he has. Yeah, these marines are going to die. Uh, they needed the siege tank support. They, they are out of range of the tank. Um, and they die almost for free, really. Almost for free, but I tell you what, if you run in there, it will be free. Second volley's going to blast a lot, isn't it? Yeah, 15, <laughs> 15 kills. 15 kills from those volleys. Uh, yeah, you shouldn't have stayed there. You should not have stayed there. Um, admittedly, you did get that tech lab. Um, for what it's worth, it wasn't researching anything. You know, this late in the game, you would expect stim already to be done. So all you're really doing is possibly depriving Marauder uh, production. Uh, since we didn't see any marauders, that's not something your opponent's doing. So I'm uh, not sure about the value of that. What I would like to see uh, from Radio Waves is maybe a bending nest uh, so that he can bend and bust this front. Oh, well, that's nasty, isn't it? That is nasty. And yeah, so it does land one corrosive bile, but uh, you know, at what cost? Um, don't run in there until you've got enough to smash through it. Look at the units killed. Uh, we can see that the Terran player has killed substantially more. Uh oh, I've done something to the sound. Um, 
we can see that in terms of army supply, it's pretty even. We can see that the Zerg is ahead in workers with these two bases up and mining. And uh, therefore, I would imagine the Zerg is ahead in income and certainly is. So our Terran player really needs to be able to push out to get an expand up and running. Um, with all this money in the bank, not a bad idea to build the command center here. Um, and you can fly it out to this area when you're ready. Um, don't forget to bring these siege tanks with you though. You, you know, again, your marines are right in their own. That's suicide, man. That's just suicide. I don't know why the Zerg's backing off from that fight because, you know, that's an easy pick off. The Terran uh, player needed, you know, you need this. You've got this artillery, but it wasn't supporting your units. You've just walked them out to their death. Um, so please don't do that. You know, creep out. Uh, Drop these, move a siege tank forward, get it surrounded by marines so that the links can't get to it. Then move the next siege tank up, the next one, uh, and kind of stagger them like that, sort of step them past each other, moving them forward the whole time. Uh, the plus one weapons upgrade would be useful. Uh, a Stargate, uh, sorry, Starport, I'm so used to Protoss. Uh, Starport would definitely be useful so that you can get some healing done on these marines uh, and even just get a drop or something like that. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing, in fact, a CC being built on here and just being flown out to maybe this area or something. There's a good chance you'll get away with that at this level. Um, so a little bit of stagnation at this point we see the spire coming down for where is it where is it where is it? here uh the spire coming down for the zerg player um you know i don't know maybe um Typically, the, the useful things that come from a Zerg Spire are Mutalisks. You know, if your opponent's on three bases, Mutalisks are great for just dancing around base to base, picking off workers here and there, picking off tech labs, just being annoying, forcing your opponent to spend lots of money on missile turrets uh, and things like that. Um, and those mutas can be very, very effective. They are pretty terrible in a straight up fight against Marines, though. So, not sure what's going to come out of this Spire. Um, you know, the Terran isn't on three bases, so the mute is arguably not, you know, not as effective. Um, we'll see. Maybe he's going to be going straight up for a grit or spire tech, um, because everybody knows that Broodlords crush everything. So, this base has been up for a long time. Um, I don't know why it isn't saturated. Uh, this base coming up is these workers are just looking at the minerals thinking, those minerals look good. Perhaps we should collect some of them. Nah, man, I don't, I'm not working for a lot. You know, I won't pay if I'm going to be collecting minerals, man. I won't pay. This queen soon is going to whip them into shape and say, hey, you two, get to work. Go on, get to work. Um, or not. Who knows? Uh, uh, what's going on? We do have mutas in production. The Terran player has a full energy on this orbital. You know, why not throw it on a scan? See what sort of tech your opponent is going for. This Terran very much just kind of sitting back and thinking, don't want to go out there. There's bad things out there. But look, this is a relatively small force of stuff. You know, these lings will melt away to siege tank fire almost instantly. Uh, you've got a fair number of marines. You've got a medevac ready to heal them up. Um, you know, it's also worth noting. <laughs> no, you can't get through just because you're burrowed. You can't get through. Um, I don't. Yeah, kind of uh, nice that you can go up and have a look, but you can't get through. Um, yeah, so come on Terran player, you, you're not going to win the game from sitting at home here. I know that there's some bad stuff out here, but look, let's have a check at the army supply actually. You know, it turns out the Terran is ahead. So uh, here we have an engagement, let's see how that goes. Not so well for the Zerg, taking a piston from the siege tanks. And you know, I don't know, maybe that's making the Terran player feel that they've had a, a minor win there. But, but you haven't, Terran player. You know, yeah, you've you've left bloodstains all over the battlefield here. But you you know, your your Zerg opponent is on three bases, um, and for all you know, is on ten bases because they could be, couldn't they? They could just have gone splat, 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 splat all over the map, and you'd be none the wiser because you've stayed at home this whole time. Um, I don't like this. I don't like having these barracks all the way over here. They're, they're, you know, There's plenty of room in your main base. How are you going to link up your army? How are you going to link up the marines built over here with the ones over here? Um, so, you know, just build them at home. The, the barracks you have at home is currently idle. Um, come on, man. Come on. What is this? We've got were okay. Oh, worker transfer. Okay, that, that's all right. Yeah, get those workers over here. Get them mining. That's fine. 
Um, what I'd really like to see from this Terran player, though, to be honest, is some drop play. You know, you've got some medevacs. Well, you've got our medevac anyway. You've got potential to build another. You know, 16 marines just dropped into the Ter into the Zerg base. You know that he's got a bunch as well. Not much of a bunch of stuff. You know that his stuff is parked near your base. Uh, I'd also like the Zerg player to be active with these mutas. Mutas are rubbish defensively. I mean, what are they going to do here? What, are they, what is it that mutas are going to see off? What sort of attack um, are mutas going to help you with? None, really. Uh, you know, the whole point of mutas is to be running in, doing some damage, running out, run in, damage, run out. You know, pull your opponent apart, uh, sneak in round the back and go, ha ha, I shoot these idle workers. Ha ha, I take out your tech lab, no more siege tanks for you. <coughs> and when the marines come to shoot them, then you're over here going, ha ha, I kill these workers. I focused on this command center. And when the marines turn up here, you're like, ha, I'm back over here. I'm everywhere, uh, is what you want to be doing, but you're not. In the production tab, we see that the turn player is having a break, probably gone for coffee. Uh, the Zerg player is throwing down hatches left, right, and center. Oh, 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 oh my goodness, was I asleep? Um, so, turn player not having a coffee. Terran player deciding enough's enough I'm gonna go and shoot those pesky roaches and he did um, so you know that's fine but why didn't that happen literally like six seven minutes ago um, oh here come mutas uh, do these have stim no no stim and no medevac above them um, so this could be a little bit alarming uh, you need come on Get the marines over there. Marines do well against mutas, you know, in terms of cost efficiency. Marines, the DPS from them shoot mutas pretty fast. But this is a large ball of mutas. How many mutas have we? Mm, a lot. How many marines have we got? Not quite enough, I don't feel. Um, so, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bit of starter stepping, like it. Look, look at these mutas taking damage. Look at it. Look at the amount of hurt on them. You know, that is literally phenomenal, isn't it? Marines. Marines, man. Yeah. Uh, so, you know your opponent's got these mutas out. Um, are you already building turrets over here? You're not. Are you already building Marines from these two barracks that you've planted over here to defend this base? You're not. So, you know, with that in mind, uh, you kind of deserve to, to get all shot up over here. And, oh, taps out. It's all over. Not even so much as it was there a GG. There wasn't. Well... At least he didn't fly around the map being salty. Uh, okay, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I think this is game one of a best of three. And uh, I'll see how my marking goes and potentially cast another game for you in uh, just a minute. GG.